you had time, money, and other resources invested in making something, wouldn't you want to ensure that 100% of your investment was good? 100% inspection is just that. The act of checking or inspecting every single physical product or piece of information. Statistical quality control uses different sampling methods which do not ensure that everything being processed is good and does not ensure that the defect is prevented. Most organizations use SQC because they think that it may take too long to perform 100% inspection. With sensors and other techniques though, this hurdle has long since been overcome. With the goal of zero defects in mind, this is important. Statistics in the form of control charts can show us whether or not a process is under control and do help identify processes that have variation in the output, but 100% inspection performed at the source maintains control of the process and prevents defects. It can even help catch an error and correct it before the error turns into a defect. 100% inspection also improves the feedback loop. Let's look at an example. Bottles are flowing down a line. They all complete the process and are inspected after the fact. Some of the bottles are found to be defective. Where in the process did the defect occur? That's a good question. A great deal of research and root cause analysis would need to be done to find the error back upstream. However, if the process was using 100% inspection, each bottle would be inspected right on the line. If a defect was found in the line, a warning light may pop up, or a marker on the bottle with a defect may occur to prompt a worker to go and dig into the problem. You could also use a control poke yoke. If a bottle was found with a defect, this may trigger a stop on the line to bring the process into a more controlled review. Then the operator could look at the different aspects of the defect and conduct root cause analysis right at the point where the defect occurred and right on the bottle that had the defect. This would allow the operator to bring the process back into control. He could also correct the defect or the error that occurred. Now that we understand 100% inspection a little better, I'd like to invite you to ponder the following question. What challenges would I have to overcome to make 100% inspection happen today? If you want, you can write your answers on a piece of paper or share your thoughts with us in the course question or the comments section. You never know, maybe someone else has the same challenge that you have and could help them overcome with a little discussion. We'll see you in the next lecture.